What does the Wi-Fi Nugget specifically do? Like, what's the sort of what's the use case? Why would I buy one? Because I mean, I was looking at the website and I was thinking I should buy one of these. As soon as I fell in love with microcontrollers, there were two in particular that I really, really liked. The first one is the ESP8266, and that's the one that's really excellent for Wi-Fi hacking. And the second one is the ESP32S2, which supports native USB and makes it the perfect USB hacking tool. It, I mean, if you know like the USB rubber ducky, like it's really easy to create something that's just like that. And this is expensive as well, yeah. So that's a problem. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And like the fact that, you know, this little chip, and I have one right here, um, is about $4 on AliExpress. It has Wi-Fi, it has USB. That's like, oh, now I have a USB connectable, Wi-Fi, you know, remote accessible hacking tool here. And I can really make it into whatever I want. So I was like, what should, what should it be? Cat shaped. So because I have a cat that is completely <laughs> worthy of having projects dedicated to him, his nickname is the nugget. So we decided that like the physical incarnation of one of these chips that is basically um, everything you would want it to be in a handheld device. So what's cool about these microcontrollers, they can do all sorts of crazy hacking stuff, but what do you need to do in order to work with them? Well, you have to plug them into a computer, open up a command line application, and then like speak directly to the microcontroller, telling it exactly what to do in some language that it understands. That is way too much work for the average person. And yeah. I used to work a lot with uh, my friend uh, Stefan, aka Spacehoon, on his uh, Wi-Fi deauthor project, which has many incarnations. But my favorite one is the deauthor wristwatch. This is produced by like a friend of his in China, and it is everywhere. If you're on like like AliExpress or like Amazon, you see this thing absolutely everywhere. And the sad thing is Stefan doesn't really make very much money on this because of, uh, you know, other people copying the design. But what that design has done is, you know, taken the microcontroller and turned it into something that's, you could use like 80% of the features that, I, you know, I just mentioned just by pressing a couple buttons and having a screen on it. And I was like, so inspired by that. I was like, this is so cool that you could unlock the potential of a microcontroller that somebody can use immediately either just by pressing buttons and having a screen or by connecting their phone and having a web interface. Like that's such a cool way of taking this kind of like, you know, locked up potential and opening it up for the average person. So that's when my friend Alex and I really started working on this Wi-Fi nugget design. We have a, a bear uh, nugget here. And then I have one in a case, it's like my personal nugget that has like a lanyard and, and everything it has buttons. It has a screen, it has a NeoPixel, and then has a bunch of outputs that allow you to connect it to other things. And we would be able to scale this and be able to make, you know, tutorials around it, teach people about Wi-Fi hacking. The other thing that's cool is this is so powerful. It can host a web application. So when I'm teaching people about web, like web pen testing, I can have them download OWASP Zap, a very free, powerful, and excellent tool and then attack a vulnerable web application that connects to their Wi-Fi network, sits there, and you can pummel the hell out of it, and nobody will get upset at you. You can do such bad degrading things to this poor vulnerable web application, and no one's going to get upset because you're allowed to. This is legal, it's permissible, and I think that that's really the thing that my tutorials on Nullbyte kind of lacked, is like a punching bag that's always allowed, that's totally defensible, so that when people say like, hey, you're teaching criminals how to hack, I'm like, no. I'm giving them a safe place to learn this skill that's going to get them hopefully, you know, a job down the line, or at least like be able to carry their interest until they find out what it is they want to do. We created the Wi-Fi Nugget by just taking this D1, uh, this D1 mini module that I'd worked with so much and then marrying it to a cat-shaped board that broke it out and allowed you to, you know, do all the stuff with it. But right around that time, um, they came out with the S2 mini. So what's cool is that um, these are pin compatible. Like you can plug one into something that's meant for the other. And I was like, what a lucky coincidence. I wonder if this new board they just came out with would actually be more useful or more powerful than the D1 Mini. So I took the S2 Mini, I plugged it into our existing design with zero modifications whatsoever, and it works perfectly. We really got lucky in that um, we didn't need to change our design at all from the Wi-Fi nugget to the USB nugget, we literally just had to put a different microcontroller on the back and suddenly it has completely new powers and you know new abilities.